Hi, in this video I'll be covering the radar chart visual. This is also a custom visual in Power BI. So basically the radar chart visual is also known as a web chart or a spider chart or a star chart. So what this visual enables you to do is have multiple spokes representing a category of data. And what I mean by spokes is you'll see that in a minute. And you can display one more metric, uh, you can more than one metric to see how each perform against each other. So that is what you can do with the radar chart. And if you look at the visual, it is right here when you go to the ellipses, the three dots, click on import from app source, and then search for RADAR radar chart. Press enter, and you have the radar chart right here you click on add this, this is how it looks so like i was telling you you can have more than one metric together so these are the basic let's say these are the one second let's say these are the categories so news and sports internet banking social network email so these are the categories and let's say the blue is maybe some sales maybe or a uh, number of times yeah this is maybe the sales and this may be uh, profits I don't know whatever it is I mean any two values or any two metrics so basically you could have two and you can compare each one so basically it's like a spider's web and this is uh, how it can look if you have uh, lesser number of categories different departments so these are Q uh, Q and a sales so quality assurance logistics IT so this way so you can have multiple measures plotted over a categorical axis it is useful to compare attributes so now i have imported it and it is right here i click on that but before that let's get my data so i'm going to get data i'll go to excel and this is sample data so you can get wedding budget i'll click on open and you will see this one right here expenses i will so we have our category uh, our budget our actual and our variance I mean the difference between the budget that was there and the actual amount that we spent so the difference is the variance so i'll load this into power bi and you will see it in the fields pane within a minute sorry within a second it won't take a minute unless it's a very large data set so yeah you have the actually have the budget you have the category and you have the variance so what i'll do now is i'll expand this so that it is visible to all of you click inside the visual remember to click inside before selecting any fields so you see that you have a category and a y-axis so you've got just two options in the field pane so i want to go with my category first because that is what i want to show on the outskirts one second was it not working let's do this again i'll expand this and click inside and i have my category inside my category and then I'll have my actual the y axis. So now just look at this. So I have my actual by category. So I have April invitations, music, other expenses, gifts, flowers, photography. This is someone's wedding expense. So how much did they actually spend on different things? So for example, they've re literally spent a lot of amount on other expenses that are not mentioned here. They spent quite a minimum of music and they've not spent they spent the second largest amount that they spent is on gifts maybe to give to people that come to the wedding to the bride or the groomsmen or the groom so now like i said you can have more than one metric so right now we just have our actual and our y-axis now i could have my budget as well in here so no, okay the color is blue that should not have happened but it's custom coloring so we'll go to format and what we'll do is we'll go to data colors and we'll change so our actual is blue so actually let's make this a uh, lightish pink uh, skin color sort of thing okay now this looks great so now when, when you ho hover over the metrics it automatically is highlighted so now you see that my one second yeah so the pink is my budget and the blue is my actual so I overspent on other expenses but I underspent on April I mean I had a lot of budget but I did not spend a lot on clothing and looking at this it was a wedding and you don't spend a lot of clothing I don't know what you do we spend a lot on gifts we should not have done that so yeah now like I said more than one metric so if you want you can add in variance it won't make much sense but then 
if you want you could add that so i'm going to take out variance this is how it would look you could go to data colors and format go to the data colors and let's say you want variance to look um maybe pinkish sure but then it won't make much sense so let's take it out we just need these two categories and these one cat this one category and the two metrics on the y-axis to explain so this is how the radar chart looks this looks like a spider's web and trust me this is a very good way of presenting data when you have an actual versus a budget so maybe not if you don't want to present it formally see power bi is not just so that you can use in an organization if you have a small business you can use power bi there wherever you have data wherever you have data like let me just show you the size of this data set let's go to this um i'm on my report view i'll go to my data view and i'll select my expenses just look at this one two three four five six seven eight 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 rows eight rows four columns eight rows four columns four headings as simple as that small businesses can use power bi free of cost so when you want to get a good insight into your data where you actually spend just looking at the table i mean let's say there was a large data set wouldn't you want to look at something like this rather than go through the entire data set and find out the variance yeah you wouldn't want to do that so let's stick to this and now i'd like to show the customization options that are available here so you go to the paintbrush click on the format and you can add a border to this so you can click outside and you see that we have added a one second let me reduce the size we have added a border let's move this to the center yeah and let's go back to the formatting options you could turn off the visual headers turn those off turn those on change the color icon color so you've got those options as well and you can go to the general settings where you can actually change the position you, you don't need you usually need to do that i mean probably is really good at it so i don't know what someone extra get someone what exact position you would require maybe you want to do some customization in that in this general tab as well you can do that lock aspect basically the white area remains the same when i move it one second why is it not yeah so the white area remains the same when i lock the aspect ratio so let's keep that locked i've added do we need a background let's turn it on i'll turn it off and turn it on let's go to color maybe we want something brownish but then this doesn't look too good so what we do is we increase the transparency this looks good right this looks good so let's look at the title you could change the title so one second you could click on the title word wrap font color you could change the background color you could have blue in there okay that blue does not look good let's keep it just grayish alignment let's make it center let's increase the size that looks good data labels you could increase the size of the data labels you know to like you have a clearer picture you can change the display settings i mean you can make it south as well i mean it's up to you totally up to you how you want it now if you don't want to fill and you just want lines you have that option as well so maybe you feel feel that a fill makes it look different maybe you feel that a fill makes it looks dif looks different you can have the just the lines there this also looks this looks actually neater and you've got the option to change the line width as well so if i make it nine okay the maximum i can go is five i guess yeah oh no we can go ten as well So let's keep it at uh, five. Let's keep it at five. Data colors. Now you could change the colors like I've shown you. So now you won't get a fill. You'll just change. You'll be just be changing the colors of the lines that you see. And legend. This is the legend. The actual the budget and the two dots, colorful dots that you see around them, the bullets. So you could have a change in that. You could change the background. Third. You could do that as well you can increase the size you could get them so a lot of positioning is available top center this looks beautiful so yeah 
these are the customization options that are available here so yes this is a radar chart that i just showed you how to create in power bi and if you want the data set you could just go to google and, and type in wearing budget dot xlsx and you'll find the link right there so yes this is the radar chart i hope you learned something new and keep practicing on power bi tell me what new you want to learn and i'll make sure to cre create a video on that i know i'm not doing a lot of advanced topics but then i'm also in the process of learning and i like to cover custom visuals because this gives me a, a lot of area to explore because power bi has a lot of custom visuals a lot means a lot more than 150 and trust me 150 is a huge number actually let me just show you something so uh if i go to my desktop just give me a minute huh? i'll just show you the data sets available in power bi the, sorry the visuals available in power bi so this was published by sql bi this is a submission submitted in 2018 i recently found out that this was there on the i found this out on linkedin so you have just look at the different visuals and they have sql bi has done a great job and it has an okay visual you can find a lot of visuals published by them as well so they have done a great job in categorizing the different uh, visuals under different headings so if you want comparison you can use these if you want change you want to see change over time you can use these you want to see rankings you can use these you want to see some spatial data you can use these you want to see a flow for finance maybe you could use these so you see the waterfall charts right there you want a narrative you want to create a report you could use these you know, miscellaneous filter single just indicators like a card or a table or a matrix you want to see correlation you want to see distribution you want to see part to hold so these are the visuals available in power bi and this is really great this this app is really great keep practicing thank you i hope you learned something new bye, -bye. take care